Imagine we live in a world where tanks are added to nations that designed them and not to ones that are roughly related. Sadly, we don't live in such a world. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Indian T-90S, which is, uh, yeah, in the British tech tree of all places. I guess Gaijin justified it by saying that Britain needed a different playstyle. Does it really? I don't know, because I don't really know what this brings to the table uh, in comparison to something like the Challenger Mark III, which is, um, you know, it doesn't have the best of armor, but neither does the T-90, so, uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Maybe you guys can uh, enlighten me in the comments down below. Now, this tank here, it's actually kind of just a slightly worse and better T90 at the same time. It has the same engine, it has very similar weight, but what it does have is this massive mine clearer here, which doesn't actually work as a dozer blade, but it looks cool. And also, you'd also uh, lose access to the Stora Dazzlers, which are usually like here on the turret, but you actually get better ERA coverage, so that's another plus point. I guess a minus point is that you lose access to 3BM-16, instead you only have access to 3BM-42. But other than that, it's really just the same tank. It has good thermals, it has pretty decent armor, I guess, maybe. I mean, you always get shot in the lower plate in the gyro part, so it doesn't really matter. And of course, the sides, if you angle any bit, you'll get shot there and die anyway. So uh, yeah, in terms of that, not too great. But I guess that's just kind of standard for Russian MBT, so uh, those aren't really points worth specifically talking about. Today, we'll be taking it out for a quick spin. Now, uh, it's actually gets quite a lot of up tiers, but luckily it doesn't really matter too much since, uh, you know, you're still capable of annihilating tanks there. But yeah, enjoy. Alright, for our first battle here, we're on Seversk 13, and on this map, I'm just gonna go try and capture the B point first. I don't really want to, uh, engage myself in too much action there. I think that was a tank, uh, but I'm gonna ignore it because that is not important right now, and what is, is the capture point because you always want a couple of extra spawn points in case you get close to getting a nuke. So yeah, we're just going to capture it here at the start and after that maybe I'll try and go towards the C point. Alright, never mind. Looks like an enemy tank here has managed to get into the zone and actually stop the capturing process. Which uh, isn't really that nice of him. So I think me and this AGS here are going to try and rush him here. Seems to be in a bit of trouble, which isn't so nice. So, uh, yeah, I'll just have to uh, finish him off here. Thankfully, my AGS friend does actually survive, so that's nice. Maybe I can pull him into the capture zone here if he's not already in it. But um, I guess I'll just help him repair then if he doesn't feel like doing that. Alright, there we go. AGS is repaired, and uh, I guess now... Like I said, I'll probably just go towards the C point because it looks very lonely. Although there's actually quite a few friendlies there, so maybe there's no need for that, but I don't really want to stay here too long anyway. Ooh, good thing I actually faced my turret towards there. Uh, unfortunately though, he did still get my breach, so I'm gonna have to hide here now. 40 second repair, that is quite long, but uh, luckily I do have a friendly light tank here next to me so he can help me out. There you go, friendly light tank has repaired me. I guess we uh, repay each other's favors. There does seem to be a tank pushing around this corner here. So of course we'd rather have that not do any damage to us. And uh, I guess now, since yeah, everything seems relatively clear here, I'm gonna go try and go to the C point, although I do hear someone on the other side of this building here, so maybe I should be a bit more cautious. Ooh, we do see someone there. Not sure if I can shoot through this here, but uh, I'm not going to try to because I don't think it'll end with any favorable results. Yeah, never mind. Um, that didn't really do anything there. So I guess for now I just have to kind of uh, wait here. Well, maybe I don't. Uh, although pushing here isn't exactly the smartest thing to do, but um, as long as no one appears we should be good. Oh, he is looking right at this corner though, so... Definitely can't go there. Never mind. Uh, he wasn't really looking properly, so I was able to get rid of him. And I guess now, maybe I can hopefully look right behind me, actually, because there are supposedly a lot of enemy tanks over here, so we'll just get rid of the one. Uh, that's not a whole, this whole tank, though, so that's not so good. Uh, there is also a BMP on the other side. We'll go after him later on. I think I will actually just pop some smoke here. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna load Heichi because uh, then I can just not like bother uh, bother like moving around him. Instead, I can just. Never mind. I thought Heichi would kill a BMP, but uh, evidently I'm mistaken. Uh, I think I'll just have to APF SDS him like that. And he is now dead. Unfortunately, we're getting spawn camped now, though. So I'm kind of gonna have to go get rid of them before actually going for the point, or else uh, our team's gonna slowly lose and uh, stop spawning in, which of course don't really want. Also, this tank is extremely responsive when turning. I don't know why it's like so responsive. I mean, it's always nice, but um, yeah. Something to keep note of if you do consider playing it. All right, there we go. There's one spawn camper dead. There seems to be another one on the other side of this building here, although he's probably gonna die really soon. But, uh, you know, we can always try and get ourselves an extra kill here and there. There we go, really nice. And I think the other one has also died now. So I might try and go to the C point, although the C point is very, um, yeah, undesirable to push. Also, I think there may be someone else there, so I think I'll go investigate that first. Ooh, got his commander and loader. He has gotten my breach, though. So, uh, yeah, that's not optimal. Although, he actually J's out now. So, uh, thankfully, he didn't have the information that he got my breach. So, that's cool. I think I'll just sit here now and repair. I think my Abrams friend here can repair me as well. So, uh, that would be really nice of him. And does he? Yes, he does. So, yeah, that's really good. So, now I can just uh, hopefully not get bombed here. And then we'll probably go to the B point. If that doesn't settle itself. Ah, unfortunately we do get bombed there. We actually have 3,000 uh, score points. So we're actually quite close to spawning in a nuke. So I may actually just spawn in a backup here. Because, yeah. We're really, really close. Actually, was I able to spawn in a nuke there? I don't think so. I hope not. I wasn't really paying attention there. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll probably get be, get enough to spawn in a spawn in one anyway, as long as we don't die a very preventable death. All right, I have now successfully made it onto the B point here. This thing, I already said it before. This thing turns really well. Like it is extremely responsive when turning. Well, I'm not sure that's the case with the uh, T90A, but yeah, it's really nice. On the other hand, what's not so nice is that our team has completely collapsed by C. They kind of tried to go spawn camp them, which uh, doesn't end well. Uh, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Hopefully with this capture zone here, I'll be able to get enough spawn points to get enough to spawn in a nuke. Although it sounds like there's someone coming to uh, try and prevent that. So, uh, yeah, that's not so nice. Oh, that's a tank right there. Never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess he shot a bit too quickly there. And, ah, uh, sadly, we only have 2,400 spawn points, so I sadly can spawn in a new. All right, so we're here on Hurtgen Forest and a full up tier with the Soviets, so we don't get any bonuses for facing them. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't normally either, but, you know, it's always nice to face T-72s, except for other than to be with them. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go right here, uh, because usually on this map, you'll probably see, like, one or two people trying to run off to the side here. Although, that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case today. So, instead, I guess, I'll just, uh, n never mind. I uh, will be staying here on the capture zone for a bit now, I guess. Because if my, uh, engine and barrel have been knocked out. This guy right there, I can't shoot him. Because the barrel is gone. At least I want a point though, so that means that my repair is, I guess, a bit faster. Which is the good news. Uh, the bad news is that everyone in front of me is not having such a great day. That's also a tank that I could shoot. Uh, that wasn't such a great shot, but he's dead now anyway. And, uh, oh, I just bounced a shell there as well from, I think, right over there. Uh, sadly, because of all the bushes, I couldn't really see him too properly. But it's not exactly the biggest of issues. That is an Abrams. I'm gonna run away now because that guy that shot me earlier may push me. There we go. He has died now though. So uh, I guess I can 
continue moving up here. Hopefully. Although I shouldn't really be going down long corridors because that just uh, leads to unfortunate events. Sadly, there's a lot of smoke here. I can't really tell what this guy is shooting at. Oh, it's a Puma. Okay, there we go. So we'll get rid of him as well. And uh, also seems to be an Abrams right here. So I'll just shoot him as well. And hopefully now I don't have to worry about any more tanks because uh, things are very hectic. That was a bomb right there that I somehow survived. But uh, you know what? I'm always happy to survive a bomb. So I'm just going to, I think, hide right here next to this building. Just kind of sit here for now because a lot of my friendlies kind of just died. So I don't really want to move up right now. Alright, there we go. Leopard dead. Uh, good thing he was only on two crew, so that was well, that made my life a whole lot easier. Seems to be another one in front of me. He's probably gonna like move in front of either this corner here or that corner there, or he's gonna shoot the guy in front of me. That also works. Or the guy next to me. But uh, it looks like he has died now, so I don't really want to move up, but yeah, I don't really want to go to the C point either, because that area is too exposed for me. I don't like going there. So instead, I think I'm just going to chill here for now. And just watch this corner and make sure that uh, nobody kind of moves up here. I do hear someone, so I guess that's good. Uh, that's only his loader and engine. That's not good. He somehow doesn't kill me. Uh, unfortunate for him. And uh, okay, there we go. I do get his breach now. So I guess I don't have to uh, worry about him shooting me anymore. And then I can just finish off his driver. There is actually a rat come fucking right behind me. Um, couldn't really shoot him there though. So that's not so good. Although he is right here. Uh, ooh, he is. There we go. We'll just finish him off right there. And, uh, ooh, there we go. Just got saved by one of my teammates here. This CV90 was about to assault me. So that's really nice of them. And uh, there is actually a helicopter right here. So I'll just have to critical him, get his pilot. And then hide, because his pilot is still alive, I guess. But yeah, I think we should be relatively safe now for the time being. Alright, there we go. Big Light Panzer dead. Uh, is there something behind him? Um, probably not. So I'm going to try and go to the A point now. Because our team has also captured C. There's dead leopards a bit in the way. But uh, there we go, not too big of an issue. And now I can use that friendly T90 as a meat shield, so that I can uh, only have to focus over here, and he can watch down there. And I guess now I can just hide behind this building. Alright, there you go. Zone is captured. Friendly T90 is getting shot at, so uh, maybe I'll try and save him here. The problem is if I push here, then he's just going to shoot me. So that isn't really productive, um, but, you know, maybe he has to uh, reposition. I do hear a CV90 or something in front of me. So, uh, I'm not sure where I want to be looking right now. Maybe I'll try and go here to the right. Although it sounds like that's not a CV-90. Oh, that's a bomb. There we go, he's dead now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, right now our team is doing really well, so I think we can kind of just hold W into their spawn. Ah, yes, so uh, we have the very era-appropriate mouse here. I don't really know how to kill him efficiently with this thing. Never mind. I'll just hit his ammunition. So uh, that gives me, I guess, another kill there. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, yeah, I know the enemy team only has like two people left. So uh, I think our team kind of just steamrolled them this game. Oh, there we go. We actually do set that MiG-23 on fire. Unfortunately, he has also killed half of my team in their spawn. But, um... Yeah, hopefully we do end up getting that kill on that guy there and not having it uh, stolen by an SBA. But there we go, we do actually get him. So that is a very good GG. And I believe uh, that is a very positive way to end this first battle. Oh, I just noticed that I can actually spawn in a nuke right here. I have 2,500 uh, spawn points. But uh, unfortunately, there is not, not enough time for that. So in the end there... We get uh, 9 kills and 2 capture zones, so yeah, definitely a very nice result. Also on a full up tier actually, but I guess that doesn't really matter too much at top tier. 
All right, for our next battle here, we're on 38th parallel. Now on this map, me and this friendly T80 UK here are going to try and push into this middle area because if you don't, you lose the game and we don't really want to do that. Now sadly, he's fortunately kind of stopped now, which doesn't really help me, but uh, I'm going to try and potentially move around right here to uh, try and shoot a couple people, but it looks like, uh, yeah. That isn't going to work out exactly how I expected it. That T80 now dies too, so that's not so good. And I'm not really going to push this area because it sounds like there's at least two people here. So uh, yeah, that isn't too optimal. Alright, well, you know what? I think it's time for me to just send it around this corner. Uh, I got his loader there, so that's good. His driver is still alive. I think I'm just going to shoot him here. And uh, finish him off that way. There we go. Very nice. And now I guess my friendly T80 here. Oh, uh, not T80. T90. Can help me repair. Sadly, our team's kind of been decimated by a leopard or at least two leopards who are now behind us. So uh, we're going to have to go take care of them. Although admittedly this tank uh, is a bit large. So uh, we're going to have to yeah, be careful here. There's also, I think, an Abrams on the other side. So we're going to have to... Definitely uh, keep watch of him here, because I think he's going to be running around this corner anytime soon. Yes, T80, I know, we're going to send it. That's not so good, but there we go, we do actually survive there. Uh, I will extinguish my fire, because I will just keep reloading here. And we'll finish off the kill. And uh, I guess thanks to my expert crew here, my two guys here in the turret are still alive. Because they have, uh, I guess, boosted vitality. So I guess that shows, that comes to show that, uh... Crew skills are very vital when it comes to this game. Well, there we go. So we have repaired now. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. Like, option A is to capture the A point. And option B is to go hunt that leopard. I think I'll take option A, though, because we kind of need to, at the very least, secure one zone. But never mind, there's actually a leopard climbing this hill right now. Yes, thank you, G90. It seems that he knows as well. Should I test my luck again? Uh, I think I will. And there we go. Cannon Breach is dead. And uh, now I can just push him here. And finish him off. There we go. Very nice teamwork from me and that T90 there. And it looks like our friendly team is now finally caught up with us. So they're actually capturing the A point for us. Which is really nice. So I guess now I can... Uh, I don't know. Maybe go watch what's on the B point. But that is a bit dangerous. Since... There is a leopard. Uh, there is a leopard. Uh, that's not good. And there's also a drone up. So, yeah, that's a double negative. It sadly, doesn't really equate a positive here. I'm just gonna ping that area for my friendly here. But I do hear a helicopter, which uh, isn't optimal, but I think I'm just gonna try and run here and hopefully be safe. I do know that the leopard's probably on the other side of uh, this area right here. Oh, he is killing our friendlies, though, so we're going to have to be really quick here. Sadly, he is also very quick, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, get to him on time here. Oh, there is he there? No, he isn't. He is right over here, so we'll just finish him off. And uh, now I can go to the other side now, because there's still people over there, I think. Or maybe not, actually. We'll see. Alright, there we go. There is another leopard who was uh, trying to spawn campus there. I don't think he's the only guy here, though, because I still hear another one, so I'm gonna have to be really careful here. Unfortunately, I don't really know where he is. Probably on the other side of this rock. But I can't really be too certain of that. And he probably knows where I am, though. Oh, yeah, I know he does. There he is. So, um... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do here. Like, uh, I guess I can ping him for my friendly team. That's probably not a bad start. But unfortunately, I can't really push him here, because I won't have enough speed to do so anyway. And uh, this guy here is also a major threat, so that's not so good. I'm gonna have to run away now, and then turn around the tank. Like so. Oh, I don't have the gun depression. Ah, shame. 
All right, now I have spawned in a backup here. Probably not the smartest thing to do since we've probably lost anyway, but uh, you know, we're not gonna give up here. Seems to me there is uh, an XM1 here somewhere. So we're of course gonna try and go after him and probably just hold W straight towards the A point because uh, yeah, we don't really have much of a choice, do we? Uh, there we go, we see him now. Uh, got his gunner, which is not good because he still has commander override. But um, there we go. Just finish him off like that. Ooh, there's another guy right here. I couldn't really hear him there. He does have a five second reload. So, uh, yeah, he does actually manage to, uh, yeah, damage us there. Sadly, I can't really 50 kill anything else. So, yeah, unfortunately, we do die there. All right, well, there you have it. I mean, the T90S is, um, you know what? It's, it's, it's okay. I mean, at 10-3, you already have a really good lineup. You have the Vigorous Mark 7, the Challenger Mark 3, and I guess the G-Links if you have that as well. Do you have anything else? Uh, no, not really. So, I mean, you know, you do have a pretty good lineup, but I guess if you want to, uh, I guess, add another tank to it, you can do so if you want. But anyway, that does it for me today. I actually do stream on Saturdays, usually in like a good couple hours now from when this video is uploaded. So yeah, come join if you feel like it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.